Tonight, we have new details on a fire and murder investigation in North Glen. Police say they think this man, Joshua Misagatis, killed a 78-year-old man. The scene was discovered when this apartment went up in flames. That's where Jeff Todd joins us live tonight. And Jeff, we've been covering this investigation all day. Yeah, Karen, and just take a look. This investigation is still going on more than 12 hours later. The coroner is still on scene. We saw four investigators just head into this apartment building, a sign that this investigation is not going to be wrapped up anytime soon. Now, we talked to some family members who live just steps away from here, and they say they've never seen or heard of the suspect until today, and it's unknown if the victim was targeted or if this was a random act. The investigation started around 9 after a small fire was put out at this apartment. I woke up early and it was smoking and they had all the fire trucks here. 78-year-old Joseph Montoya was found dead inside. It makes me feel really horrible because, I mean, just some innocent man obviously maybe got murdered and that's not right. Montoya's family lives in the same complex. Laura Ortega is his great niece. We thought it was just a house fire. It ended up being a possible homicide. Um, whoever did this took off with his Jeep and still has it. Montoya's Jeep was stolen from the scene. Around noon, it was spotted and chased into Westminster. All of a sudden, I heard like a world's worth of sirens coming around this bend. And as I stuck my head out the window, I saw a Jeep in like seven cop cars flying around the corner. Police arrested 26-year-old Joshua Misagatis. His hands and feet were bagged in an attempt to preserve any evidence that may tie him back to the apartment homicide or fire. Family members told us they don't know Miss Agatis. We're shocked, we're sad, we're angry. It's still unknown if Montoya was killed by the fire or if the fire was set in order to cover up the homicide. Miss Agatis will likely face charges next week. We're live in North Glen, Jeff Todd, CBS4 News. Jeff, thank you.